Hey guys, my name is Lisa Nafsiger and I'm gonna teach you how to start live streaming. I should let you know that I'm not gonna be going over live streaming for games or for YouTube. I haven't really figured those ones out yet. Instead, I'm gonna be talking about Picardo, which is an art streaming website that I like to use. It's very user friendly and I had an easy time setting it up when I had not streamed before at all. Another warning that I have for you is everything I'm gonna do is gonna be on a Mac. So if you're following along on a PC, I think the settings will look just a little bit different. Overall, I think you'll be able to locate the settings that you need and you can always ask me any questions. If anything looks too different, I can ask some of my friends that run open broadcast software on PC and we'd be happy to help. So thanks for tuning into the class and let's get started. So if you're watching this tutorial, you're probably already aware of what live streaming is. You might have watched people play games, host discussions, or in my case, draw Japanese monsters. Like, all the time. Seriously though, it's like all I like to draw. One of the websites that I like to use is called Picardo.tv. It's a broadcasting website where a bunch of people are simultaneously casting what they're working on, whether it be illustrations, animation, or comics. The other nice thing about Picardo is that it's not just limited to digital illustration. I've done some traditional work with pen and ink and I recorded it using two different webcams. One of them on the piece of paper, and then one facing me so you can see me while I'm talking. On each channel, there's a video player and a chat room in the sidebar. It's a fun way to hang out with people while you're working on projects, and it's a nice way that viewers can provide valuable feedback as they watch you draw. You're not seeing anything right now because I'm not online, but imagine that you would see my stream right here, and there would be a chat bar on the side. I've used Picardo for a couple months now, and I really like it. I'm by no means an expert, but I should be able to tell you enough to be able to get started. So. Without further ado, why don't we get to it then? I'll go ahead and show you how to start things up. 